Hi friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil. In chemistry, we have already completed 18 classes. This is class 19. In this class, I am going to explain fibers and plastics. Fibers and plastics. Many of the students are asking that please make physics 300 most important bits topic wise PDF. As per your request, I have done and uploaded in InstaMojo site. I put the link in my description box. Click on that link and download the PDF of Physics 300 most important bits as topic wise. Now coming to this fibers. Let us take fibers. We know that these fibers are made up of very thin strands of very thin strands of threads so we can call the thin strands of threads the thin strands of thread are called fibers called fibers very thin strands we know that thread is made up of very thin strands Okay, these thin strands of thread are nothing but fibers. These fibers are mainly two types. First one, natural fibers. Natural fibers. Second one, synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers. First of all, natural fibers. As the name itself, these are obtained from natural sources. These are obtained from natural sources. For example, cotton, cotton jute, and silk, wool. These are examples of natural fibers. We know that these cotton and jute are from plants, and these silk and wool from animals animals okay natural fibers are obtained from natural sources for example cotton jute silk and wool these we know that these cotton and jute are from plants and silk and wool from animals and these plant fibers are consist of cellulose cellulose these plant fibers consist of cellulose and these Animal fibers consist of proteins. Proteins. Okay. And then coming to the, these synthetic fibers. As the name itself. These are made from chemical substances. These are made from chemical substances. And examples of these synthetic fibers are. We know that polyester, nylon, rayon. All are synthetic fibers okay and these synthetic fibers are chain of small units joined together these fibers are a chain of small units small units joined together joined together to form a fiber these fibers are nothing but synthetic fibers for example, if you take the examples of these synthetic fibers, rayon or nylon, these are examples of these synthetic fibers. First of all, taking the rayon, rayon. We may also call this rayon as artificial silk, artificial silk. It is obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp chemical treatment of wood pulp that means it is from it is wood pulp is a natural source here thaw it is taken from natural source but here there is a involvement of chemical treatment involvement of chemical treatment that's why thaw it is obtained from natural source it is uh, under the process of chemical treatment so it is man made fiber it is considered as man made fiber okay and it is cheaper than silk and it is 
cheaper than silk and it is mixed with cotton it is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets to make bed sheets and it is also mixed with it is also mixed with wool mixed with wool to make carpets to make carpets okay and the next example of the synthetic fiber is nylon nylon and the, this is also another man made fiber another man made fiber and it is prepared from coal prepared from coal water and air coal water and air that means it was made without using any natural source without using any natural source so that means that means it is the it is considered as first fully synthetic fiber it is considered as first fully synthetic fiber in case of rayon that is made up of from uh, that is made up of from wood pulp that means that is a natural source but here it is made from coal water and air that means it does not take in any natural sources for manufacturing that means so we can consider this as first fully synthetic fiber and these nylon fibers are very strong and elastic and lightweight and also easy to wash easy to wash these nylon fibers are used to make ropes tents socks toothbrushes toothbrushes bags and so on and also these nylon fibers are used to make parachutes used to make parachutes okay and another example of this synthetic fiber is polyester is polyester it is another synthetic fiber and we observe that the fabric made from this polyester fiber does not get wrinkled does not get wrinkled we can observe this polyester fabric these polyester fibers that is uh, fiber fabric made from this polyester fiber does not get wrinkled and examples of this polyester fabrics are uh, terlin and pet pet polyethylene terephthalate polyethylene terephthalate and here we know that this polyester is uh, consider of poly plus ester we know that poly means many so this polyester is actually made up of repeating units of chemicals called ester this polyester is actually made up of repeating units of that is poly means many that is repeating units of chemicals called esters next one plastics next one plastics these plastics are also organic polymers like synthetic fibers these are also organic polymers like synthetic fibers and these are also two types one is natural plastic and one is synthetic plastic first of all natural plastics natural plastics and these natural plastics as the name itself these are made by plant materials or natural materials plant materials like uh, starch starch cellulose cellulose and tree of eucalyptus tree of eucalyptus these natural plastics are made by plant materials such as starch cellulose and tree of eucalyptus and in case of synthetic synthetic plastics synthetic 
plastics. These are these synthetic plastics, as the name itself, they are made made up of by chemical compounds or chemical substances. These are also two types. The first one, thermoplastics. Thermo plastics. Here, what are these thermoplastics? Are nothing but the plastics which gets deformed easily on heating. That means if we heat these plastics, they gets deformation. They gets deformation or deform easily by heating. By heating. And they can be bent easily and they can be bent can be bent easily. These type of plastics are nothing but thermoplastics. For example, polyethylene, polythene and PVC and Teflon. These are thermosetting. These are sorry, thermoplastics. These are thermoplastics. And we know that this polythene material is used for making polythene bags. This polythene used for making plastic bags or polythene bags. Polythene bags. Okay. If you take this thermoplastic and their monomers, thermoplastic and their monomer and their important uses. First of all, take polythene polythene and the monomer of this polythene is ethene CH2 CH2 ethene and important uses that is making of plastic bags making of bags or toys or bottles plastic bottles okay and another thermoplastic teflon teflon the monomer of this teflon is tetrafluoroethane tetra fluoro ethene that is cf2 cf2 an important uses of this teflon making oil seals making oil seals and non stick surfaces non stick surfaces coating surfaces coating and another important thermoplastic is pvc polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl chloride and the monomer is vinyl chloride vinyl chloride CH2CHCl and important uses of this PVC it has many many important uses and it is used for mainly rain coats making rain coats and pipes we know that uh, PVC pipes pipes handbags handbags and so on okay these are the thermoplastics and their monomers and their important uses okay and another synthetic plastic is thermosetting plastic thermo setting plastics in case of this thermoplastic when we heat they deform easily but here these plastics which when molded ones cannot be softened by heating cannot be softened by heating these plastics are called thermosetting plastics the plastics which when molded ones when molded ones cannot be deformed cannot be deformed or cannot be softened softened by heating these plastics are called thermosetting plastics and examples of this thermosetting plastics are bakelite and melamin bakelite and melamin this bakelite it is a poor conductor of heat and electricity coming to this bakelite it is a poor conductor of heat and electricity so that's why it is used for 
switches making switches and also handles switches and handles of various utensils various utensils in utensils the handles are mainly made by this bakelite why because it is poor conductor of heat that's why it is used for handles for various utensils and it is poor conductor of electricity so that's why it is used as a material for to make the switch and the another important thermosetting plastic is melamine these melamines that means the material of this melamine resists the fire it resists the fire so and also it can tolerate heat it can tolerate it can tolerate heat better than other plastics better than other plastics okay so that's why this melamine is used for making floor tiles making floor tiles and fabrics which resist the fire and fabrics which resist the fire okay this is all about uh, fibers and plastics in the next class i will explain the remaining topic that is uh, soaps detergents and polymers polymers that class may be the last class of chemistry okay, okay. thank you friends